him an opportunity to give us a brief rundown on it. So Sayat, tell us. Uh, hello everybody, uh, we are in Laodicea. Uh, this site was founded in the 3rd century before Christ. It was named after Laodicea, the wife of the founder. And what's important here is the, uh, is the extensive Jewish populace that it once had. Uh, there was at least 12,000 adult male, male Jews, and we know that from, from all the uh, taxes that was collected to be sent over to the uh, temple in Jerusalem. Therefore, Christianity has very early roots here. It is the seventh church of the Revelation. Uh, and Laodicea has this sizable uh, Jewish and then Christian population, therefore there were many churches. But the most exp uh, important and exciting find in the recent years is the basilica that was discovered uh, back in 2010. It was under renovation for at least seven to eight years uh, and it's now open for, um, for visits. It received the 2016 uh, award for uh, for the best uh, uh, renovation, uh, Europe and Nost Nostrum award. They've done an excellent job inside the church, and we just did uh, we just uh, we just did the sermon uh, inside the church. It was excellent. And uh, I think Laodicea has a lot of potential. It has to be the potential to be the next Ephesus in Asia Minor. So, so we expect uh, everybody to come to Laodicea. Thanks, Ayat.